Israel has reportedly advanced plans for 2,304 West Bank homes early this week, during a two-day session of the High Planning Council for Judea and Samaria. According to NGO Peace Now, out of the unit's 1,466 homes were in an early planning stage, while an additional 838 homes received final approval for construction. The majority of the homes are for settlements that are located deep inside the West Bank beyond the major settlement blocks. The approvals came following a cabinet decision last week to promote the construction of 715 housing units for Palestinians, the first time in decades that such a significant number of homes was approved for construction. However, at the same time, the cabinet approved an additional 6,000 housing units in Judea and Samaria. Among the plans approved include four outposts to be legalized, one in Givat Salit in the north of the Jordan Valley with a plan for 94 new housing units, another in Ibeha Nachal, southeast of Bethlehem with 98 new housing units, and the third, Haroea Ivri, east of Jerusalem, where plans for an education institute including student housing was approved. Additionally, 194 housing units were approved in Ganei Modi'in, a settlement near the security barrier and on the outskirts of Israeli city of Modi'in. Gush Etzion Regional Council Head Shlomo Ne'eman praised the decision and Prime Minister Netanyahu, saying that he hopes that this is a trend of development and construction that will continue full speed ahead. Meanwhile, Peace Now condemned the move, saying that the approval of settlement plans is part of a disastrous government policy designed to prevent the possibility of peace and a two-state solution, and to annex part or all of the West Bank.